R2 the motherfucking dog. Why they mad? Hey, yo, Pluto. Like you going, going brazen? Shit. Ah. But let's get it. Yeah. It's probably the realest shit I ever wrote. VIP Red Dog 1. The O is for the 16 ounces that's in a whole pound They really out here feeling my music, shout out the whole town K is for the killers I know, who keep the four pound You give an inch, he taking the mouth, like it was fourth down The L is for the ladies for sure, I mean the real ones Who out here working hard for they What's up world, what's up YouTube It's your boy R2 man, and we back with another banger You know what I'm saying, so you know uh Get your, get your popcorn and get your, you know, cold drink because it's going down. You know what I'm saying? It's story time. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm off that good, you know, medicine and I'm ready to, you know, share another one of these uh, crazy, wild, funny stories with y'all, man. Uh, <clears throat> but before I do any of that, man, go on down there, man, and hit that like button, man. Hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? And, and hit that bell. You dig what I'm saying? So when I drop these bangers, man, you can be one of the first ones to, you know what I mean, put your eyes on it. You dig what I'm saying? But yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Another shout out, man. I want to shout out to Oklahoma City Thunder, man. We number one in the West, man. We doing that, man. We on our way to try to get this ship, man. You know what I'm saying? Old city and no city. You know what I'm saying? Just so y'all know what it is and what time it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, Man, this is another penitentiary story, man. Uh, this is on my second trip, man. Now, in the penitentiary system, um, you know, the visiting room is an intricate part of, you know, the inmates and how we jail the convicts and how we get out. You know what I'm saying? Um, the visiting room is very important to, you know, the, the population. You know what I'm saying? That's how a lot of stuff is moving, you know what I'm saying? That's how we get access to, you know, you know, the extra and curricula. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, so, man, this story is about one of my partners, man. Uh, well, he used to be my partner. He turned out to be a buster, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a nigga named Khan, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and at the time, you know, I should have known when I met this dude, when I embraced this dude, you know, when I took this dude, let him in my circle, you know what I'm saying? Because when you're in the penitentiary, man, you gotta watch who you deal with because they problems become your problems, you know what I mean? Now, if this a dude that you hang with on the pod, you know, y'all cool, and then, you know, he a dog, you know what I'm saying? He whooping, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, any kind of, any kind of, altercations they having or anything like that, you know, me being a real one, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have your back, you know what I'm saying? Rather you right or wrong, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but one thing you're going to have to do is stand up for yourself, you know what I'm saying? That's rule number one. And if you don't stand up for yourself, then how can I defend you, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man, my partner, Khan, man. Now, Khan, man, he was... Uh, how can I put this, man? He was a, char a charismatic dude, man. He was a good dude, um, you know, and like I said, he was a whoop. You know, I could I could tell that, you know, his heart was good, you know, but, man, when you get on drugs and you're doing drugs, it messes with your, 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 your chemical balance, you know what I'm saying? And when you're on them hardcore drugs, man, you're not yourself, you know what I'm saying? You make stupid decisions and you do stupid stuff, you know what I'm saying? And you can really get yourself in a wreck, man, in the penitentiary plan with the next man and his money, you know, and it, it you know, it could get bad real quick, you know what I'm saying? So um, one thing people like to do in the penitentiary is, you know, we we like to share resources, you know what I'm saying? So let's say I got the bag on the outside, you know what I'm saying? I got the bag, you know, but you get visits, you know what I'm saying? And not only do you get visits, you know how to go to visit and get busy, you know what I'm saying? Now, anybody that's been to prison know what I mean by get busy, you know what I'm saying? And what I'm talking about the bag and what the bag and visit got in common, you know what I'm saying? Um, now, for those who don't know, you know, um, I'm going to try to, you know, tread as lightly as possible, you know what I'm saying? But everybody know the business, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, like like on that movie Life, man, where the old dude say, you know, uh, you know how they got that in here, don't you? <laughs> in their ass, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that was a real statement, you know what I'm saying? 
So when the dude go to visit, you know, if his girl with the business, she can, you know, come prepared. And when they get to visit, if the time is right, you know, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, you know, but the 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 person that's going to get the bag got to be, you know, on point, you know, experienced because you got maybe a five to 10 second window to get that package and make it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and, and comment just so happened to be one of these dudes, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about a, a magician in the visiting room. You dig what I'm saying? Could make a, you know, could make two or three TV remotes disappear real quick. You know what I'm saying? Right up the, Right up the booty hole, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going to keep it all the way funky. Right up the booty hole, you know what I'm saying? Probably without no grease, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you know, um, that's how I go down. You know, dudes will go to the visiting room, you know, they'll put some Vaseline in, a, in some tissue or something and stick it in their sock, you know, so when they get the from that girl, you know, she slide it to you real quick on the cuff, you know, and, you know, hit it real quick with the Vaseline and boop. You know what I'm saying? All in one quick motion. You know what I'm saying? Now, I have personally seen it get ugly in the visiting room of, of, of my own experience. You know, it didn't got ugly for me and a broad that was coming to visit me in a facility. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it didn't got ugly for somebody else while me and my shorty sitting there having our visit and we, you know, enjoying each other, having a sandwich and a Coke or whatever, you know, we discussing and we chopping and popping. You dig what I'm saying? And the police, they they watching them cameras. They got cameras and they got officers circling the flow. You know what I'm saying? So one day, you know, white dude, I'm sitting by, you know, they must have seen him doing something, you know, and here they come. I'm talking about like the SWAT team. They swarmed on him. His girl stood up in the middle of the visiting room. She stood up, took whatever it was that she was supposed to give him. And instead of getting caught with it or letting the police have it, she raised her dress up and, st and shoved it right up, up inside. You dig what I'm saying? Right up the booty hole, right there. Boop! Right in front of everybody. No shame and no nothing. If I'm lying, I'm flying, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's real in that visiting room. You know, so you can't go down there playing. Well, everybody pretty much knew on the yard, you know, especially on the pod, the unit that we lived on. Everybody knew that Conman was, you know, he he had that talent. You know, he had that on his resume. You know, he could go to the vision room and make it do what it do. Boop, boop, boop. No issue, no, you know, problems, you know, and get on back with it. You know what I'm saying? And even if he did get into a sticky situation down there, he ain't just to give it to the Jakes. You know, that's the main objective when we're going down there. We never want to lose the product. You dig what I'm saying? Even if it get ugly and you have to, she have to go back home with it, we never want to let the police get it. That's rule number one. That's one of the, that's one of the most, you know, uh, irritating things in the world is to have something going on and the police get it. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you are inmate in the prison. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, that's a no-no. We don't want that to happen. You dig what I'm saying? So. So Con Man is, is known for, you know, going and getting busy. Well, he doing business with this dude from the other side. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's typically, you know, you, you typically don't want to do that for the simple fact that, you know, when you're doing business with one of your, one of your own, if something goes wrong, you know, they're more inclined to, you know, have some understanding about the situation rather than if you messing with the other side yeah y'all cool but at the end of the day he just you know messing with you because you can get done what he need done and if it go bad he might try to do something to you you know what i'm saying because you ain't his homeboy you are you from the other side you dig what i'm saying so he was doing business you know with the other side, a Hoover cat, you know, and the, and the cat was cool, you know what I'm saying? I even messed with the dude, you know what I'm saying? He was a cool dude, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we used to chop and pop. He was a he was a dude that, you know, that's going to get the bag and go have some money and go, you know, have a phone and, you know, because, you know, he was the type of person that I was, you know, a hustler. I'm going to keep the bag. It don't matter what yard I'm at. I'm going to keep the bag. I'm going to keep a phone, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and we're going to get it on, you know what I'm saying? So, so. You know, he was he was my type of dude. So, you know, he was cool. You know, we all lived on the on the unit together. You know what I'm saying? The real dudes is going to mess with the real dudes on the unit. I don't care what you're from. You know what I'm saying? At some point in time, we're going to have to 
cross paths and we're going to have to either do some business. I'm going to have to do some business with you or you're going to have to do some business with me. Meaning I'm going to have to put some money in your pocket or you're going to have to put some money in my pocket and it's going to rotate. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes they're going to have a bag. Sometimes we're going to have a bag. Sometimes, shit, we both going to have a bag. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, he doing business with this cat. So, a situ I mean, I guess, you know, over the course of them doing business, you know, they had had, you know, some successes and a couple, you know, mishaps or whatever, you know, but, they, you know, they always, it always got made right or whatever, you know, but for some reason, you know, Kyle was starting to feel like he was being used, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I remember him coming up in the cell one day and just kind of, you know, having this sad look on his face. And, you know, I'm like, man, what you, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I'm probably on the phone trying to figure out how I'm going to do my Dougie this week. You know what I'm saying? Who I'm going to have go for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, because I'm going to go to visit, but I ain't going down there playing like that. No, I ain't playing like that. You know what I'm saying? Now I have, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, at the time, I had already – I had already been through that, done that. I'm sending somebody else. That's the easiest way for me. No contact, you know, no ties. You dig what I'm saying? I have it dropped off. You and your girl handle the business. I trust you're going to go down and do what you do. When you get it, bring it back to me just like it was. I'm going to break you off, and then we're going to keep on doing it again next week. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, he was doing business with this dude, but at some point he felt like he wasn't getting enough out of the deal. He felt like he was going. he was the one going to visit. And at the end of the day, you know, once the drugs got dispersed, you know, he was left with, you know, crumbs, you know what I'm saying? When he was the one going to get the bag, you know what I'm saying? Even though it wasn't his product to begin with, if it wasn't for him, it wouldn't be there, you know what I'm saying? So he feeling like this, but at the same time, he using these hard drugs too, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he complaining to me, I'm like, bro, you know, really? You know, if you was fucking with me, you would have to do all that. You know what I'm saying? To keep it a hundred, you know, because I'm going to make sure you got your issue just off the rip. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm not a greedy dude. Plus, you the homie. You know, that's the benefit of dealing with your, you know, with your kind of a genuine manner. You know what I'm saying? When both parties is genuine. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to look out for you. You know what I'm saying? Off the rip. Because I know without you, there's no success. You know what I'm saying? So... He's dealing with this dude and he feeling like this or whatever. So they put another play together. Well, unbeknownst to the Hoover dude, Khan is planning the, the double cross. You know what I'm saying? He got it in his mind that this is going to work. You know what I'm saying? So he plans to get the stuff from dude, go to visit, act like he got caught or fumbled it, and the police got it. Now, to him, that sounded like a good idea. That sounded like a good idea because, you know, he could act like the Jakes jammed him up, got it from him, gave him a pass, let him go back to the unit, you know, and then, you know, just told him, get the get the F out of here, you know, don't try this again and go back to the unit because sometimes that happens. You know what I'm saying? You can catch a, you can catch a break sometimes. They're not going to full court press all the time, just depending on who work in the visit room, what kind of day it is, and what, and what amount of what you got. You know what I'm saying? So they, you know, his plan was to go down there, act like he didn't get it, but get it, you know, act like the Jakes got it when he really got it and he going to sit on it until, you know, stuff died down and they was going to go for it. Well, you know, the only problem with that plan was, you know, now, first of all, the drug that we're dealing with is PCP, water. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is not the kind of drug that's on, that's just plentiful on these yards. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, water is not even popular to the masses. You know, only a, only a select few mess and dibble and dabble with the water. You know what I'm saying? I was one of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm four or five years clean, man. I'm glad God delivered that from me. That used to be my everyday thing. I used to stay wet, stay on a dip. But I'm glad God took that from me. I prayed for him to take it away from me. And he did, man. I was in a jail cell. I was in a prison cell praying that... I do not get back on the streets using PCP again because when I went to the pen the first time and I got out, I got out still banging, still slanging, still using PCP and went on a downhill so fast, you know what I'm saying, with the word called speed, you hear me? So, you know, this particular, you know, uh, uh, drug is not 
popular to the masses, man. People don't even really like dealing with people that smoke this stuff. You know, I didn't have people like, Ugh, you know, you know, the females, when they smell that stuff, they don't want to deal with you. They, when Once they figure out you smoke that, they don't really want to deal with you because they know what comes with smoking. it. You know, that everybody can't handle it. That stuff, you know, it'll trip you out. You know what I'm saying? On a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so, you know, they was planning to get this, you know, and so Khan got it in his mind. Okay. He gonna make him think that he going to do the right thing, but he ain't got no plans on doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Well, the only problem with this plan is now inmates can find out anything pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Because the guards talk. The guards talk, they gossip. You know, they at work for 12, 13, 14, 15 hours all day. You know, and if you got the right person working in the right spot, like if you are orderly for, you know, the captain's office or anything like that, you can hear stuff, you know, and you can, you know, find out what was caught up in the visiting room today and what wasn't. You know what I'm saying? You can find these things out. You know what I'm saying? And Kyle wasn't thinking that far ahead of the game. You know what I'm saying? Because what these dudes was, what these dudes did was, you know, the Hoovers, this dude was important to the Hoovers. You know, they was out of Tulsa, but you know, that's still a large car in the in the in the Oklahoma prison system. You know, the, the Tulsa Hoovers, they deep. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere you go. The Hoovers are deep everywhere you go. But, you know, Tulsa and Oklahoma City don't consider themselves to be, you know, kumbaya. You know, Tulsa and Oklahoma City in the penitentiary, they bump heads, man. I don't know why, but they bump heads a lot. You know what I'm saying? Oklahoma City and Tulsa, Oklahoma, they don't particularly like each other, you know, or get along. You know what I'm saying? Overall, you dig what I'm saying now? I know some real Negroes from Tulsa, some real generals, some real steppers, you know, some real dudes that I got real love for, you know what I'm saying, straight up, you know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't particularly got nothing against nobody from the 918, you know, I mess with the 918, you know, but, you know, uh, over the course of the years in history, you know, shows that Oklahoma City and Tulsa, you know, ain't really been that close or tight over the years, you know what I mean? So whatever. So the day come for Khan to go to visit. Now, he done already got this dude stuff. He got his girl on point. Whoopty bam, 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 bam. Now, I ain't knowing none of this at this point. You know what I'm saying? Con, all I know is Khan is feeling slighted. You know what I'm saying? He came in my cell with the puppy dog face. You know, I shot him some encouragement, whatever. You know, once you get done with that business, come mess with the dog. We're going to make sure you, you eat right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I told him. That's the gist of what I told him, you know. But wrap up that business first before you start trying to deal with my stuff because I don't want no issues and you you telling him one thing and you telling me another thing. You know what I'm saying? So, and uh, so yeah, he get the stuff. He go to visit. Now, you know, the Hoover dude that already came and told me, man, I got some juice coming because he know I mess around. You know, I'm like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm already knowing, you know, he dealing with Khan, but I ain't knowing what Khan is thinking about doing to this dude until he show up in my cell. You know what I'm saying? Until he, you know, enlightened me in the moment of what he thinking about or what he got planned. You dig what I'm saying? So. They go to visit, you know, it's a visit day. I think I went to visit that day. You know, I went early, boom, got my few hours in, pushed back to the unit. Uh, Khan, he kind of went late, you know. He went late, man. You know, he usually go late because he, he, he the type of dude, he can't even sit and have a good time once he get the bag. Once he get the bag, he ready to go back to the unit. You know what I'm saying? Me, if I get the bag, I want to sit and chill. You know, I, wanna, I don't want to make it look obvious. You know what I'm saying? You only come down here for 30 minutes and you going right back. They're going to be like, man. You know, they gonna already think, because they know, man, the officers already know what go down and visit. They just be trying to catch you, you know, and you can't catch everybody. You know what I'm saying? So you, it's going to be some people that slide through the cracks. You know, it's going to be some people that turn them up every weekend because they know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? And they so slick with the movements that you really can't tell what a mug is doing. You know what I'm saying? So he go down there to visit. Now, he got this plan put together in his head. Now, he execute the plan. He executes the plan. He gets the bag. He comes back to the unit. He tells them some dry story, you know, and initially, dude bought it. And at that time, he came to my cell, ran to my cell, kind of sweating, nervous, you know, shaking a little bit. He like, man, look, take this. I'm like, what's that? He like, man, just take it, put it up. That's you, homie. You always been real dude to me, man. I, I think he felt like something was supposed to go on. So he like, man, just take this. And, you know, man, 
Thank you for looking out. Thank you for, you know, encouraging me, woo, woo, you know, giving me encouraging words, you know, and just thank you for being real to me, man, you know, and, and gave it to me. And me and my Sally, we sitting there looking at each other like, man, where you get, like, you know, we still kind of in, in the dark. I'm like, I'm like, why are you? He like, man, that's when he ran it down to us. He like, man, it's old boys, but I told him he got caught by the police. Man, you know, you ain't heard nothing. You ain't seen nothing. So me, I'm a street dude, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real, you know what I mean? If one of my dudes come to me and say, hey, man, here, throw this in the stash. Don't talk about it no more. Done. Done. You know what I'm saying? Done. So I put it up, threw it in the wall, you know, forget about it. We don't, you know, nobody know he brought it here. You know, we don't even know it exists. I'm, I'm playing dumb to the situation. I don't even know what's going on. So a couple of hours go by. I think count time came. I, you know, unbeknownst to us, you know, dude is doing his investigation. He like, oh no, nah, something don't feel right. He can feel it in his gut. You know, he, you know, he consider himself a real dude too. You know, he a step or two. So he feel it in his gut. Something ain't right. So some kind of way they do some discussing and they do some digging and they do some figuring it out. And they figure out that Khan is a mother and lie. They figure that it's no way that he got caught with that at visit today. No way. Because they would have already had a log of it in today's, you know, visiting actions and inside scoop. We done seen the log. Wasn't no water caught up at visit today. So now they pressing con again. Now they pressing con. Now, at this point, we got cons back. The homies got cons back because the homies feel like it's a blood and crypt thing. And we rocking out with Khan because, you know, me and my celly know that what he didn't came and gave us and I said. So now it's all making sense. But, hey, now we caught up in it. We can't go back and say, hey, man, he gave this to us. You know, um, we sorry. We're going to take care of him. Don't worry about it. No, we can't go out like that. The, 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 the deed has been done. You know, the, the cross has been done. Once the, once the, 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 the enemy lines have been crossed, it's over with. It ain't no going back. So that don't exist. So that's what me and my Sally, we got in our head that that don't exist. But we got the homie back, though. So what y'all trying to do? You know what I'm saying? Now, the problem with that is that Khan, he's not doing what he's supposed to do. You know, he's real. Not, he's like acting like he like he turning it down. Like it came to a point to where we we on the bottom tier, you know, so. Let me explain something to you. Dick Connors, this is where we at. We at Dick Connors Correction Facility. Now, everybody, anybody ever been to Dick Connors know that this is a this is a two-side unit with only one officer working this unit. Now, what that means is it's only one officer, one officer working a whole enclosed unit with two sides to it. With really, yeah, two sides, upstairs, downstairs two sides so he can't be everywhere at once and most and most likely he gonna be in that picket way away from where we at you know what i'm saying he gonna be chilling unless he see some big commotion or he hears somebody screaming or he see some something that's 911 emergency he ain't really coming out that picket so we we have a, a blood on on crib standoff well they like no this ain't this between him and him so we like, okay, well, only you and him, only Khan and you going in the cell. So everybody like, all right, we just going to stand outside the door. So me, my celly, a couple other homies, we outside the door. Well, Khan is in the cell, and, man, I'm talking about they wasn't in there for half a second. He come running up out the door. He let he let the dude punch him one time, and he ran all up out the door, all hysterical, like he can't fight no more. Oh! Like a little weenie, you know what I'm saying? Like a little weenie, you know what I'm saying? So at that point, I'm salty. I'm like, Con, you better get your mother it's in there and get out. You know what I'm saying? Go in there and get out. You know what I'm saying? He don't want to go in there and get out. So he take off running. Pew! He runs way to the other side and lock himself in the Indian's dude's cell and shut the door. 
Now, I got the homies doing everything in their power to pry this door open so we can so we can so we can beat the blood out of this dude, man, because it ain't no way that you done put this move down. And all you got to do is go in there and stand up and get this fade. Ain't no way that you let this dude. I don't even think he connected with the first punch, man. He just swung at you and you ran out the cell all hysterical like you can't fight and you don't want to fight and all this stuff, man. Man, we about to beat the brakes off of you, man. So what he did was. He ran in the cell, locked himself. Un he climbed under the underneath the bunk, locked himself in the cell, climbed underneath the bunk, and made the Indian cat call the police and come get him and take him up out of there. You know what I'm saying? And man, dude, it's so real. When he was on his way out the door in handcuffs, the, the homies was trying to take his head out with baseball punches. Ooh, ooh. Why the police standing there and all, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like, you know, that, that, that was a real wicked situation. Now, mind you, me and my celly still got this water in the wall. A whole, a whole shindig. And you want to know what we did? We partied on it. Straight like that. You know what I'm saying? We dibbled and dabbed. And, I, and, I, and, and you know, to keep it 100, I think old boy ended up knowing that somehow we got our hands on some of that water that was his. Because, man, the water heads, man, they swear they know the taste of their water and they can taste it and be like, that tastes like something. Because one day we was blowing something with them, you know, after it kind of died down, you know. We we parlaying now. He he made a joke like Red Dog. This tastes like some of that. This tastes like some of my shit, bro. I'm like I'm like man, come on, you know what I'm saying? But the whole time, you know, I felt like they knew. But at the end of the day, what can you do? You know what I'm saying? Because I got involved in it inadvertently, man. You know what I'm saying? Like he just ran to my cell, handed it to me, and you know I'm a real homeboy, man. Give me that, like a like a like a running back gonna take it from the from the quarterback. <laughs> Give me that. I'm gonna run it to the touchdown. Yeah, I'm gonna run it to the touchdown. You ain't never got to worry about me diming you out or, or or telling nothing that I saw. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I would get down. You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen nothing. I ain't heard nothing. Don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's real. But man, you know, uh, that dude ended up getting shipped on somewhere else and. You know, um, yeah, man, anytime you do something like that, anytime you go out like a buster, man, that, sh that stuff is going to follow you any yard you go to. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure when he pulled up where he got, you know, the homies was already on alert, you know, uh, beat him down. You know what I'm saying? Because he missed his he missed his butt whooping where we was at because, you know, he 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 had track feet like Usain Bolt, man. I'm talking about the dude, you know, he wore dreads, man. I'm talking about them dreads was – was swinging like this. Them dreads was like this, and his body was going this way. Them dreads was like this. I'm talking about he was moving so fast like Sonic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. But anyway, yeah, he got to the cell, got to lock himself in there, and shoot, we couldn't even get the door open, man. We tried, but you know you know how it go, man. Shoot, man, a buster going to be a buster, you know, and you know, you 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 live to fight another day, you know, so Kyle old Kyle, man, man, he lived to fight another day, and you know, I'm pretty sure he got beat down wherever he went to or however, you know, because you can only fake it for so long, man. You can only act like you really one of the members for so long. You know, eventually somebody going to check, somebody going to test that chin, you know, or somebody going to pull that card, man, and you ain't going to display how you thought you was going to display. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like I tell all my homeboys, man, I don't give a dag um, if you lose the fight. You get your respect by going in there. As long as you get in there and, and put a and put a real solid effort into handling your wax, man, I ain't gonna have nothing to say about you ever. You know what I'm saying? But you know, that's just for a real one. You know what I'm saying? I can't speak for the next man, you know what I'm saying? But you know, uh man, that's looking like it's it for today. But you know, again, man, I appreciate y'all for staying down. I appreciate y'all for following this journey, man, that I'm trying to do, man. And uh Appreciate the people who comment and just the people who showing love, man, from all over, man. Uh, you know, 
it's your boy R2. And, and, and before I go, I want y'all, if you haven't already, I want you to go down there and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man. And make sure you tap that bell. So when I drop these, so when I drop these bangers on you, you can be one of the first ones to lay your eyes on it. You know what I'm talking about? It's your boy R2, and I'm gone, man. Y'all stay safe, stay 100, and stay dangerous, man. Yeah, that. R2, the motherfucking dog. Why they mad? Hey, yo, Pluto. Like you going, going brazen? Ah. But let's get it. Yeah. It's probably the realest shit I ever wrote. BIP Red Dog 1. The O is for the 16 ounces that's in a whole pound They really out here feeling my music, shout out the whole town K is for the killers I know, who keep the four pound You give an inch, he taking the mile, like it was fourth down The L is for the ladies for sure, I mean the real ones Who out here working hard for they